Hello, everyone. Please welcome to today's presentation in the data analytics stream. Scaling data-driven insights across a complex global organization with Looker and BigQuery. In today's presentation, we would like to cover Iron Mountain business and technical drivers, data analytics and visualization architecture that was established, scalability principles that were in play, GCP products and services that were used, Looker value proposition for Iron Mountain, challenges and recommendations made. Before we get into the details, we would like to introduce ourselves. I'm Harish Kuram, Principal Data Architect at Spring ML. I was the project manager for this Iron Mountain project. I have around 25 years of experience implementing and delivering technology projects across many large companies. Hi, my name is Jared Garcia. I'm the Director of Enterprise Platforms at Iron Mountain. Uh, I've been uh, with Iron Mountain since December, and uh, I've been excited to uh, join the Iron Mountain team uh, to establish a singular data uh, platform. I would like to give you a quick introduction to the Iron Mountain Technical Data Analytics Project. Spring ML, in partnership with Google PSO, worked together for 10 weeks this past March and April to successfully deliver this project. Iron Mountain provided the program leadership and SMEs. Spring ML provided the sprint planning, scrum management, and implementation, while Google PSO provided the product SME, architecture, consultation, and oversight. I would now like to hand it over to Jared to speak about Iron Mountain, the initiative that led to this project, and the current state. Over to you, Jared. Thanks, Harish. So this is the typical, you know, who is Iron Mountain slide. Um, you know, we're a global leader for storage and information management services. Um, we're in 50 countries um, and we service, you know, a ton of clients. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Um, hopefully you've heard of us and uh, we can move on to the next slide. Um, so today, what we wanted to talk about is um, the global enterprise, um, the data platform, um, where uh, what we're trying to solve is a localization problem that Iron Mountain has had. So we have a lot of different um, systems, a lot of different countries that we're working with, and each system in each country has their own way of doing things. Uh, this you know, tends to lead to a lot of repetition as well as a lot of customization. It also gives our executive team a lot of headaches because we're not able to necessarily look at the company holistically. So when we want to see a footprint for a particular client, it can take several weeks for us to be able to gather all that data and then be able to present that information back to our client. The goal of the global data platform is to be able to centralize all of this. Um, over the, the project that we began with uh, Google and with Spring ML uh, was geared to get this kicked off. What we wanted to do is to take some of our operational systems and land everything into, the, into a central data platform. We also then wanted to write a bunch of different dashboards and develop uh, insights that would enable our leadership to have a global viewpoint. Uh, moving on. So there were three th main things as we talk about our master data, um, you know, our, our initiative. One is the technology. So, you know, we're uh, a Google company. We love working with Google. We love GCP. Um, we felt that uh, BigQuery was the right platform for us. Um, you know, over the BigQuery has a lot of benefits, and uh, Harish is going to go over some of those later on today. But um, as a platform, being able to pull everything into a central area and then be able to uh, utilize BigQuery and all the things that come with it really is, is going to help speed up that process. 
Um, the other thing that we had to consider as well is a governance uh, policy. So what we wanted to do is to start to set up a data stewards uh, model where we can formalize our, our data governance practices. So um, our idea here is to democratize data uh, and to make it readily available to all uh, Iron Mountain uh, employees. But we do have to you know, consider uh, specific things like you know, from a data uh, protection standpoint. And then the other part of this is, you know, it's a, it's a big cultural change for us as well. So um, the company wasn't used to kind of thinking this way. So what we wanted to do is to start to show um, the entire company that, you know, this type of thinking, uh, the these uh, and efforts can happen quickly and, uh, you know, pretty seamlessly. You know, we, we adopted an agile um, mindset. And we were able to start to collect data from different countries and different um, operational systems and start to land it into the cloud. And then as well, we partnered with you know, Spring ML, with Looker and with Google in order to build out those dashboards. Um, moving on. So I'm gonna jump a little bit ahead. Uh, Harish is gonna go through all the details about how we got to the end state um, but to give you a preview, we were extremely successful in the project. Um, we have today, um, based off the, the success of this project, we have 11 different systems feeding our enterprise data platform. We have data from 56 different countries flowing into the platform. Um, and, you know, it's, for us, five terabytes is, is um, it's, it's a good start. Uh, we've only been up and running for about six months. So we're, we're very happy with the progress that we're making. Um, the monstrosity that you see on the right is kind of a picture that we have. Um, we're servicing different use cases as well. So we're dealing, you know, we're helping our, um, the business um, from the record management side, from the data management side. We're working with our colleagues in infrastructure, uh, within project management and HR to be able to give them, um, you know, a, a lot more capabilities than we've had in the past. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over back to Harish. Thanks, Jared. Before I delve in deeper, um, I would like to spend a minute or two talking about Spring ML. We are a premier Google Cloud partner and I have delivered over 200 plus cloud data analytics and visualization implementations. We have uh, four main capabilities on the Google Cloud stream of our business, machine learning and artificial intelligence, cloud migrations, data analytics and visualization, and application development. As a Google Cloud partner, we have achieved credentials for four specializations, data analytics, machine learning, marketing analytics, and application development. Now, I would like to delve deeper into the Iron Mountain story. I want to talk about Iron Mountain's business and technical drivers for this and future projects. Global operations has a requirement to realize cost savings in record center operations. There's a need for productivity monitoring in record centers across the Iron Mountain footprint. There's a need for consistency in building and activity definitions across countries and operational systems. There's a need for visibility into facility or building level information. There's a lack of clear insight for leaders across multiple sites, regions, and countries that needs to be addressed. There are mostly file-based processes with challenges related to file transfers. There is a monolithic data source skip with challenges related to reference data definition for districts, buildings, and activities. There are time-consuming manual checks with the reference data provided by business. The reports are defined in crystal reports provisioned through business objects there's a need to standardize reporting tools. Now, I would like to talk about the architecture of the solution we designed. Some important features to note are 
an on-premise virtual machine to upload the data extracts from multiple data sources to Google Cloud Storage. File upload event-based invocation of Google Cloud Composer DAG. Upload of data into BigQuery staging tables orchestrated by DAG. Invocation of SQL transformations and merging of data orchestrated by DAG into BigQuery reporting data set. And finally, RCO reporting dashboard that we built on Looker, which I'll present on a later slide. The relevant uh, scalability principles in play for this engagement are BigQuery, a highly scalable serverless data warehouse set up with on-demand usage and growth. Recommendation for automatic scaling of composer worker nodes based on usage metrics. And finally, an event-driven ingestion pattern we built with discussion around moving to message-driven cloud PubSub in future. With that, I would like now to talk about the key GCP products and services we implemented on this project. Google Cloud Composer for workflow orchestration that included processing and loading files into tables and running SQL transformations and merge queries. BigQuery for loading, querying, and analyzing large amount of data cost-effectively. Google Storage for staging and archiving of file extracts in CSV formats, facilitating future retrieval if necessary. Google Operations or Stack Driver for logging, monitoring, and alerting activities of the ingestion pipeline. And finally, delivering insights, reports, and dashboards using Looker. I would like to spend a few minutes talking about business intelligence platform, Looker, and how it benefited Iron Mountain. Implementing Looker helped us quickly deliver insights and enable real-time analytics in a matter of two to three weeks. It helped us implement governance and data integrity by limiting table access data access, masking specific columns, and auditing. Having the self-service feature enabled the business analysts to ask new questions about the data that is readily available, and to troubleshoot problematic indicators with Iron Mountain operations. And most importantly, Looker leverages the GCP investment by Iron Mountain. It basically leverages BigQuery natively to perform all the queries. What I'm now presenting is the Record Center Operations Dashboard that we developed for Iron Mountain. Some of the insights the dashboard enables are the ability to investigate dip in achievement percentage by drilling to specific country and district and down to the warehouse. Collaborate with country managers to identify specific bottlenecks and take specific actions to bolster the workforce or take corrective actions within the same day. Ability to explore the data and ask additional questions, especially why some buildings are reporting high overtime hours, for example. Set up alerts when achievement thresholds are not met so quick action can be initiated. Some of the challenges we found and the recommendations we were able to provide are agreeing upon data formats, business logic, and structure ahead of time to minimize re-engineering. Continue to develop a DevOps culture for maximum scalability and portability by leveraging Terraform for automated deployments and building a CI-CD pipeline for efficient code deployments. Data cleansing is best done upstream, near the source of the data, to minimize complexity in coding logic. Review architectural decisions constantly and optimize to implement the right fit. For example, cloud data flow was determined to be an overkill for the simple transformations. We switched to using BQ load as there were minimal or no SQL transformations or the parallel processing wasn't needed. 
identified growth opportunities. We recommended improved security monitoring, firewall logs, alerts, and so on, fault resolution, and performance management of for, for, for future projects. And finally, I would like to close out with the project outcomes we were able to achieve. We completed proof of concept to ingest data from Iron Mountain systems to BigQuery for data analysis. We enabled enterprise data warehouse modernization and reporting through data democratization. Enabled near real-time handling of data ingestion and on-demand visualization. Help reduce different tools being used at Iron Mountain to reduce copying of data sets. Enabled Iron Mountain for success by beginning to create a unified GCP standard across the organization and established an infrastructure baseline for future data ingestion and visualization projects. This concludes our presentation. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.